Good morning, Mr. Williams. Hello. Where are we? We are in Denver, Colorado. And what's the date today? It is April 20th, 2019. And where are we here? We're at, we're at a, in the parking lot of a Carl's Jr. Uh, we're about to purchase the, uh, the very first fast food burger laced with cannabis products. I don't even know. I, I'm going to tilt my glasses down. I don't even know what this means. I mean, they got cones set up, like they were doing a racing thing. It's just going to be a nightmare. It's it's not even 8 o'clock yet, but we're going to go in and get this before uh, the stoners get out of hand. So it's already starting to fill up here. All right, let's go. Are we going to make it? Oh, are okay. they going to run out of burgers? I don't know. I don't know. Are we going to make it? Yeah, we'll tell you, I'll tell you the story later. Okay. Okay, ready? we'll tell you the story after we procure the burgers, but it's like it's getting wild over yeah, let's here. Go. Okay, let's go. Alright, so we're back. We made it out of Carl's Jr. alive. What a fiasco that was. We did have the Rocky Mountain High Burger laced with CBD for breakfast. <laughs> <Please. Can> we... <laughs> I'll get it. No, keep going. It's, a, it's, a, it's an exciting part of my story. Will you stand to me? Yeah, so it was alright. It's Carl's Jr. The last time I was at a Carl's Jr. was uh, probably about 2 or 3 in the morning going i think south on the 95 on the east coast yeah i was gonna say before we met so like yeah, 10 this, plus years this ago is, yeah this is probably 12 years ago um but it was uh it was two three in the morning something like that and they were uh right the place was right across from a pig farm and apparently at night they spread the pig shit on the actual farmlands to actually fertilize it and the smell was absolutely atrocious so the only time i've ever been to a car junior it smelled like pig shit so they had they, that that was part of the they story. had to throw some uh, cannabinoids in, into the mix to get me back into Carl's Jr. Uh, family. So it was all right. It is what it is. But uh, the place is uh, pretty busy, especially being this early. Um, so we're gonna go to Red Rocks, and I think Sydney's got a few things to say. So, but they do card you for that CBD burger. It was interesting. I'm giving myself a van facial. Van facial? Yeah, because I, like, I'm gonna go put on a hat and stuff today so I don't need to, like, wash my hair and get fancy, but I still want to wash my face, so I'm giving myself a van facial, which includes uh, a cup of water and my hands full of face wash. Mm. So glamorous. I know, it is a glamorous life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, this, is, this is real van life. Like, I don't feel like taking a shower because it's not really necessary considering for doing these activities. 
but it helps to have a clean face. Good morning. Uh, we are somewhere outside of Roosevelt National Forest. We spent the night here. Uh, man, what a great night's sleep. A little cold, we got some snow, but um, we had three sold out shows, uh, concerts we attended in four days with a hike, group hike in the middle. So it was nice to be not in the city, uh, out in the wilderness listening to this river flow. Um, we're in bear country, also elk country. Seen some elk poop around here, but um, we're heading into Boulder today. Uh, we're gonna try and upload some videos for our Patreon. <coughs> so we're gonna see if we can find some some Wi-Fi, maybe do some laundry. Sydney's got to talk tomorrow in Boulder. We stopped by the Boulder store and the Fort Collins store yesterday. Um, and that Boulder store is really really nice. So going to be a great trip in Colorado so we're doing the last couple last couple talks and uh, then we're off to NorCal but for now we're going to enjoy this uh, this beautiful national forest here the driving here was amazing so it's gorgeous Went to Red Rocks yesterday, which was the most uh, man. 
everything they say about that place is true. It's all true. If you haven't been to Red Rocks, you need to go there before you die. <laughs> it's required. We, we made a <laughs> pact last night that we're going to take a look at the tour schedule every year and uh -huh. hopefully pick at least one show yeah. to see every year. I'm going to make a point to actually go back there every year because yeah. the sound was impeccable. I've never, ever, <laughs> ever, ever been to a place like that. It was spectacular. Yeah, it was really cool. So, yeah. Yeah, that's our plan. Red Rocks. So, we got three sold out shows yeah. in four <laughs> days that we're going to. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so we're just kind of pre gaming, walking around uh, Fort Collins. Yep. And kind of doing some stealthy research on what we're going to do when we come here for my talk. Uh, that'd be the week after next. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Happy, yeah. happy Easter. Yeah. Should we cross here? Yeah, let's cross here. Alright. Bye. See ya. Yeah, so we rolled into Fort Collins this morning and we saw something that said, it looked like tribal fries. <laughs> but it said, uh, so I was like, we were looking for places to eat. And uh, looking for places to eat and I was like, man, I can really go for some tribal fries. I bet you that's pretty rad. So I looked it up and it was like, tribal fries, Fort Collins, no, tribal rights, it's a tattoo shop. <laughs> Whatever. All right, so. <laughs> Whatever. We're not getting any tribal fries anytime soon. No. Next time on Williams in the Wild. Mountain lions and bears. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> so what does it say to do? Do not run, scream, or turn your back. Make yourself look as large as possible. All right, so here's the plan. We see a mountain lion or a bear, you're gonna hop on my shoulders, or you're gonna pull out the trench coat, and we're gonna start waving our arms. <laughs> I like this plan. Okay. I feel safe. Yeah, all right.